Welcome to this body scan meditation. For the next 20 minutes or so, form the intention to simply be present with yourself, with this moment as it is. Choosing to take some time away from the busy schedule of the day and simply to be where you are. The body scan is best done lying down, uh, preferably on the back, on a mat or pad or carpeting on the floor or on a bed or on a couch. Any position in which you can lie relatively comfortably with your arms at your sides, palms up if that's comfortable, heels resting on the floor, feet gently falling outward. Noticing any clothing that may be binding or uncomfortable and doing what you can to loosen it or to make it more comfortable, removing shoes perhaps. And in this lying here, we may become aware of the sensation of the floor pressing up on the body, the body pressing down into the floor at certain points of contact and other parts of the body that are barely touching or not touching the floor at all. Just noticing the sensation at those points of contact. Taking the time to settle in. And in this lying here, we may become aware of the sensation of breathing, the flow of the air cooler as it moves in past the nostrils and down into the chest, the rise and fall of the belly as the air moves in and moves back out, and the slightly warmer air, moisture air exiting the nostrils and mouth on the exhale, and then the process continues. Recognizing that it's not about breathing in any particular way, but simply being aware of the process of breathing itself. Allowing the attention to rest on the body as a whole. Recognizing that along the way that we may feel somewhat relaxed on occasion, but that may not be necessarily the point of being present in this body scan. And so it may not be that relaxing at times, just simply noticing what it is. If we're anxious, if we're uncomfortable, if we're wanting it to be different, if we're agitated in some way, noticing that as well. And if relaxation is here, noticing relaxation and what that feels like in the body. And so moving the attention, narrowing it like a beam of light from a floodlight encompassing the entire body to a spotlight that moves very deliberately down the body, down the left leg, all the way down to the left foot and the left toes, so that we're resting in awareness of the toes of the left foot, almost to the exclusion of anything else we may be aware of, just noticing the sensations in the toes. It might be warmth, it might be coolness, it might be tension, it might be numbness, or no sensation at all. Simply allowing whatever sensation is here to be here or lack of sensation. Allowing the attention to extend to the rest of the left foot, the ball of the foot, to the arch, the heel, the sides, the top of the foot, the muscles and tendons and tissues inside the foot. Just taking it in as it is in this moment. We may find along the way that our attention drifts, that we find ourselves thinking of other things, other times, having memories, 
desires, emotions, anything at all. And simply, when we notice this, bringing the attention back, ushering it firmly back, resting firmly at this point on the left foot. allowing the attention to focus upon the left ankle, a part of the body that we rarely pay any attention to unless it gives us some difficulty, seeing if we can simply be aware of it as it is, to the exclusion of the foot below and the leg above, simply aware of the left ankle. And the left lower leg the calf resting against the floor, the mat, the sides, the shin, the sensation on the surface perhaps of clothing touching this part of the body, or sensations inside of the muscles and bone and tissues. Bringing the attention back to the left lower leg each time that we notice that the attention has wandered, that we found ourselves lost in thought. The left knee, once again seeing if we can be aware of it in isolation of the rest of the body. Just the left knee. Recognizing that there are parts of the body that hold memories and feelings. And so along the way, it's not unusual for people to encounter a certain memory associated with a certain part of the body or an emotion associated with awareness of a different part of the body. And if these memories or emotions or thoughts arise, simply allowing them to wash over us like waves as we sit on the beach, just washing over us and then receding, recognizing that they are just thoughts or emotions or memories. And aware of the left thigh, an area in which we hold tension sometimes. And if what we encounter here is tension, we can certainly choose to let go of that tension or simply just notice it. Just notice where we feel it and what it feels like. Is it warm? Is it tingling? Is it numb? Is it tight? Is it loose? Just taking stock, taking it in. Aware of the tissues, the muscles, the longest bone in the body inside, allowing the attention then to shift across the hips and down the right leg, down to the right foot and to the toes of the right foot. Simply noticing the toes, perhaps aware of how they may be different from the toes of the left foot but not necessarily having them to be any particular way. Moving the attention to the rest of the right foot, the outside, the inside, the sole and the top, the left side and the right side. Aware, perhaps, of how complex this part of the body is and how amazing it is that it moves us around. Aware of the right ankle. Just the right ankle, just as it is in this moment. Not straining to attend to anything in particular not trying to have any particular experience, but just allowing ourselves to be aware, to tune in to this particular small radio station, if you will, the frequency of the right ankle, seeing what's here. It's sometimes useful to adopt an attitude of 
what we like to call playful curiosity about the body. What will we find here? Exploring this body in the way that we explore any new thing that we encounter, even though it's not new at all. The right lower leg, the calf, the shin, Noticing any sensation that's here, coolness or warmth, sensation of clothing touching this part of the body on the surface. Awareness of the knee, the right knee, possibly feeling some of the twist of the right leg, the right foot falling outward. the right thigh, finding our attention perhaps wandering, associating to thoughts of other things, other times, other places. Each time that we are aware that the mind has wandered, simply ushering it back, urging it back to the place in the body where we are, in this case the right thigh allowing the attention to rest here for whatever period of time we are able. And the next time we find the attention wandering, simply bringing it back once again, patiently, calmly, but firmly. Allowing the attention now to move to the pelvic area, the buttocks, the genitals, pelvic organs, side, tuning in to an awareness of this part of the body as it is in this moment. And if what we encounter is no sensation, that's fine too. As we move the attention to the lower back, an area in which some people harbor some discomfort, and you may be one of those people, or you may have no particular discomfort most of the time, and it doesn't really matter what it is most of the time, what we're interested in is what's here right now. Seeing if we can be fully present with the sensation of what we are aware of in the lower back in this moment. And if we find ourselves labeling it as pain, seeing if we can be more specific, can we be aware of the sensation that pain takes in the lower back at this particular moment, or whatever other sensation is here? Not stopping at a label. Bringing the attention to the front the lower part of the torso, the abdomen, the muscles and skin of the abdomen, the organs inside. Feeling here perhaps more directly the movement of the breath, the effects of the process of breathing and the rise and fall of the diaphragm, the rise and fall of the belly. Tuning in to what's here. Moving up the torso into the rib cage, the lungs, the heart, the upper back. Aware perhaps of the work of the lungs and the heart and breathing and moving the oxygen into the entire body, the expansion and contraction of the ribs, the sensations on the upper back from this process of breathing, awareness of 
the shoulders. The effects of the rocking motion of breathing on the shoulders. Drawing the attention back into that narrow beam over to the left arm and the left shoulder and down the left arm, all the way down to the tips of the fingers. And slowly making the journey up the left arm, aware of the fingers of the left hand. The hand itself, the palm, the back of the hand, all of the muscles and bones and tissues inside. Perhaps a sensation of the floor or the mat or the bed, wherever the hand may be touching it. Aware of the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the upper arm. Experiencing just the left arm, the left arm as a whole. Can we stay present with it for just this moment, as it is, regardless of how it is? allowing the attention then to move from the left arm across the chest to the right shoulder, extending down the right hand, right arm to the right hand, to the fingers of the right hand. Tuning in to what we find here in the fingers of the right hand. and to the right hand itself, including the back of the hand, the bones and muscles inside, the palm of the hand. Are we aware of subtle temperature differences from the palm of the hand to the back of the hand? Aware of the wrist. The forearm. bringing awareness, just pure awareness to the right elbow and the right upper arm, broadening that beam of attention to include the right arm as a whole from the tips of the fingers all the way up to the shoulder. bringing attention now to the neck, this very complicated part of the body with all of the muscles and bones and tissues and nerves and vessels passing through this area, aware of the breath moving through. The neck being an area in which we may hold some discomfort, we may be aware of tension, of warmth, of tightness, of discomfort in a variety of forms, and seeing if even in this moment we can simply be aware of it without the need to do anything, without the need to change it in any way. Just allowing it to be here because it is. Moving attention up into the head, into the jaw, the chin, the teeth, the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips. Tuning into sensations in the face, the cheeks, the nose, the upper lip the areas around the eyes, the eyes themselves, the brow, the forehead. We may encounter tightness or 
furrowing of the brow or clenching of the teeth. And we can certainly choose, if we wish, to let go of that tension. But for the purposes of this body scan, simply noticing that it's there. Once again, not needing it to be any different than what it is. Aware of the sides of the head, the ears, the back of the head. Perhaps noticing the sensation of the back of the head resting on a pillow or cushion or mat or floor. Being aware to whatever degree we are able of the brain inside the head. And to the top of the head. Very slowly but deliberately broadening the beam, that spotlight, back to a floodlight to encompass the body as a whole, from the top of the head all the way down to the tips of the fingers and all the way down the body to the tips of the toes. Aware of this amazing vehicle in which we live. This whole body breathing in this moment functioning in this moment, thinking, feeling, imagining, remembering, but still present, still here. Breathing. In these last few moments, taking the time to feel some gratitude towards ourselves for having taken this time to simply be present with our experience as it is, without the need to make it any different, without the need to do anything except to be aware, to be present for the only moments that we actually have these moments. And so in a few moments, as it feels comfortable to you, beginning to perhaps wiggle your fingers and toes and gently bring your attention back to the place where you are and the activities of your day, recognizing that this feeling of presence a focus, if that's what you're experiencing, is as close as the next moment, as close as the next breath. 